Hi, I'm Ryan with Danver, Brown Jordan, and Trex Outdoor Kitchens. Today we're going to look at some great tools available to make the design of our outdoor kitchens faster and easier. This video provides a basic overview of designing a layout using our Microsoft Word design program. This is a good way to begin putting together ideas for an outdoor kitchen. Let's take a look. When you open the Word document, you'll notice our default sample layouts and instructions. Scroll up to the top and click Enable Editing. To maximize your workspace, we're going to show the navigation pane. So my navigation pane is already up here, but if your navigation pane is not shown, click on View up top, and then check the navigation pane box if it's unchecked. We're going to use this pane to easily switch between your project and the cabinet selection you'd like to make. We have many different categories under the navigation pane. If I click on the cabinet accessories tab and expand it on the left hand side, we'll see we have stock models for grills, stock models for refrigerators and freezers and ice makers, refreshment centers, and also vent hoods. The storage base cabinets tab includes drawer bases, door bases, trash bases, and other non-appliance bases. So clicking on any of these left-hand tabs will navigate us to that page. Under appliance and bartender bases, these are all the cabinets that we have to house appliances. That includes side burner bases, egg bases, grill bases, bartender bases. Fillers and spacers can be used to fill space in a run, and that includes box columns, refrigerator box columns, angled fillers, and front fillers. Finally, the wall cabinets tab includes any wall units we have, as well as the side panels or accessories associated with them. So let's navigate back to page two by pressing control on the keyboard and then clicking return to page two here. So you'll notice your cursor will change and it will say control plus click to follow the link. So holding down control, just click that link and that'll bring us back up to our project on page two. So we will be building our layout on this page. First, we wanna fill out the known project information, which in would include the PO name. cabinet depth, powder coat color, cabinet door style, countertop thickness, and notes. If we don't know some of these details, it's okay to just leave them as TBD or blank. And it's always helpful to design layouts from left to right. So the first step is deleting the existing layout. So we can delete our wall cabinets up top, you can highlight and hit delete on your keyboard. So after we deleted our wall cabinets, we're going to do the same process. Just highlight the cabinets, tap delete in our keyboard, and then hit enter to space down the accessories that jumped up from the previous page. So now we have a clean workspace to work under. So if I wanted to add wall cabinets, I would click at the top left of the page and then use my navigation tab on the left to scroll down to wall cabinets, click on the wall cabinets. And once I see the unit I want, I would just click anywhere on the picture, right click to copy, hit control again to follow my link back to page two, click up the cursor where I want it, right click, and then click paste. So I would follow this same procedure as I build my kitchen. So if I need another wall cabinet, I would grab it, hit copy, control back to page one. Remember to reset the cursor because the cursor would reset if I use that return, it would uh, reset up here and then click paste next to the wall cabinet. So now same process with base cabinets. I'm going to click down below to where I want my cursor if I want to add a drawer base, I would click on the left-hand pane to go to a three-drawer base. 
select it, right click, copy, back to page two, click my cursor where I want it down below the wall cabinets, and click paste. So now continuing that process, I'm going to use my navigation tab to continue adding cabinets. So I can add whatever I like, and you have the option also, rather than hitting control and then return, you can always scroll back up to page two if that's easier for you as well. But the important part is that your cursor lands wherever you want that new cabinet to go. So if I wanted something in between these two cabinets, I'd have to get my cursor in that space. So let's add a front filler to show that. I'm going to select it, copy it, scroll back up to page two. So now that I've got my cursor down below and I have my front filler selected, I actually use my arrow keys to get where I want in between that space. So if I want my cursor in between these two cabinets, I would just use my left and right arrow keys, right click, and then paste the filler in the middle. The side panels are a little easier. I can click at the end of my run, scroll down to my navigation tab, and then select my side panel under fillers. So this is, would be a left side panel here, and then a right side panel with the countertop edge facing out toward the right. Back to page two again, clicking on the left side of my run. And I'm going to quickly continue this process by adding a trash base. Add a grill base. And I'll also add a full height door base, as well as a drawer door base. So once I'm happy with my run, I can finish it off with a side panel on the end, grab that right side panel, copy, paste it on the end. Once I've completed my cabinetry layout, I'm going to paste it onto a new page and save the document as my project name. So the first step is to click File, New, Blank Document, Next, I'm going to navigate over to Layout, change the orientation first, the landscape. After that, head to Margins on the left-hand side, go all the way down to Custom Margins, and change all four margins to 0.4 inches. So top is 0.4, bottom is 0.4, left, and right then click OK. Click back on my original document. After this, we can copy our table at the top of the page and paste into the document. So clicking our four prong compass, then we can either hit Control C or right click over the text in the document to copy it. Navigate to our new document. and then paste that information at the top. So now following the same process, copying the wall cabinets and the cabinets beneath it, hitting Control C on my keyboard, clicking at the top of the new document, and then pasting by hitting Control V. And now we have our finished layout. So after this, I'm going to navigate up top, click on File, save as, and then name my project name, whatever I'd like 
I'd like it to be. So in this case, I'm gonna call it Ryan Outdoor Kitchen. Click Save. And now you can present this to your customer. After we have our project saved as a Word document, we now have the option of saving it also as a PDF. It's good to save the finished document as a PDF because it's easier for viewing purposes in our quoting software. So if I navigate to File, Save As, I have the option to save this as a PDF as well. That also locks editing for the document. So once I'm finished editing in Word, I can save it as a PDF and then it's finalized and can't be changed any longer. These tools make the design and purchase of Danver, Brown Jordan, and Trex Outdoor Kitchens fast and easy. Please like and subscribe our channel and stay tuned for future updates. Thank you.